Yo, everybody, this is a little bit of a, uh, a hype dump. This video is intentionally less left blank, although really not, because I was gonna get some footage from the evolved closed beta, but I was kind of an idiot, and I missed my chance. I didn't realize, like, I thought since the closed beta, like, you know, they don't want us to put videos out, you know, they're still working on things, but then I read the Steam community post later and it says, we want you to make videos, and yeah, go do it, and it's like, well, crap. So I could have recorded the past, like, three days of footage, uh, but I didn't because I thought they didn't want us to because I'm an idiot. I didn't read posts, but I am incredibly, incredibly hyped for Revolve. Like, it's just so good. Although, I mean, it is a team-based game, but when you're playing the monster, obviously it's not so much because you're, you're just you. And your opponents will be the enemy team, so if they are not coherent, then your game will be over within like a few minutes. It, but no one actually, I haven't mean, had a match that lasted for only like five minutes or so. Although I have hit stage three in about five minutes and then crashed, which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, pretty, pretty hype for this game. I mean, I also pre ordered it, and people are gonna hate me, but I pre ordered the Monster Race edition so i'm i'm invested in this game now uh the closed beta came up i'm not even sure when it popped up in my uh seamless i'm not i like, I, I don't remember any of the details of it but the moment i saw it like i was actually told it was on my list i'm like you know what? i'll just kind of like check this game out you know why not it, it looks it sounds like it's popular i'll just look at it and i looked at it and i'm like okay i don't really want to try it right now but you know whatever then my friends Mr. Sub and Mr. Aru mentioned that we should play it together, and I'm like, all right, I'll do that. Fine, it's cool. We'll try it. We'll install it. We installed it, and <laughs> we were all pretty nervous about our first match. We were all like, <sighs> it was just a mess. We were freaking out and everything, and it was hilarious. And from there, I just kind of kept playing the game. And then, well, from there, I eventually landed myself onto Goliath. The first match I ever did, I lost because I had no idea what I was doing, and I got trapped pretty fast. Uh, but then I started to, you know, learn to sneak around. By second match, I won, and then from there, I went on about a, I want to say, 12-match streak with Goliath, and then I got beaten by a Parnell, I believe it was Parnell Cl Clifford? No, it's Griffin. Parnell Griffin Cabot and a Lazarus. Of course, those are my, like, top people that I hate in the game, because they, they they're so good. I mean, Griffin can be can be good, but so can uh, Maggie and what's his face? I don't remember his face anymore. I don't care. <laughs> no one plays him anyway. Oh, Abe. Yeah, Abe's a pain in the ass too. I'll give him that. But I was playing that game like nonstop for the last three days, and I have probably 30 hours logged into it over three days, and <laughs> that's unheard of for a game nowadays with me. Like the game, like most games get played a lot, but they're on my days off. But, you know, it's like, I just could not put down this game. I could not put it down. It was just so good. And I was playing, I kind of fit myself into the trapper role on the hunter side for the most part when I first started. And trapper's a lot of fun. Like, you gotta, you gotta outthink the enemy gamer. It's a ton of fun. I enjoy it quite a bit. And I love blocking people off and stuff. But sometimes, sometimes I get caught up. And they outmaneuver me, and I get really sad because I'm Trapper, and I'm like the only person who can engage the fight. So I feel kind of bad about that sometimes, but yeah. And then I eventually landed in Monster, as I said, and went crazy with Goliath. I feel like Goliath is a bit too good at the moment. When you hit stage 2, you can pretty much just wipe the group without much issue. Unless they've got a Lazarus, and you're letting him revive people, like, they're not gonna live. I've I take I don't take rock throw because rock throw makes you stand still, which is by far the bad like the worst idea you could ever do as a monster. You don't want to stand still. I mean, sure, you can use it as utility and just pest people from afar, but you can get so much damage out of fire breath, leap smash, and charge, especially charge and leap smash. Those two are amazing. Although fire breath also amazing when you close the gap with leap smash. Uh, so with that, I've been maxing out leap smash, charge, and fire breath, and. From there, like at level even level two, I don't I have two in each, and I just demolish enemy teams without much of an issue. It's a bit weird. I feel like Leap Smash should have its damage like kicked back a bit, 
like nerfed a little bit maybe or charged should i don't know it's kind of hard to have like avoid sometimes unless they've got a really 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 good spot on you like say they have a pillar that they can stand on and just be general dick butts about it <laughs> but that really happens especially when you're trying to engage a monster on your terms because you're, he's constantly sneaking you're not going to get a chance to really ambush him unless he's not sure that you're there and not spamming his right click his right mouse button which i've done over two thousand times in the past like three days i feel bad for my mouse at this point but i feel like goliath may be a bit too good and on topic on the topic of things that are too good wraith everyone's gonna be real mad about this but wraith is not overpowered it just needs some reworking. It's not OP as everyone calls it, as I found out. When I first played against Wraith, I was very pissed off about Wraith because he's got a bunch of decoys, he's got stealth. It's like, what are you going to do about that? Now, the thing that I found out is that Wraith is kind of stupid. Like, it really honestly is. The fact that it can, no matter where you throw your arena trap, as Maggie or whatever trap you're playing, the Wraith, if he has some dashes left, like one dash left and his warp attack, if he has that, he is insured. If he is aware of his, like, f aware of the fight, he is insured to get out of that arena trap before it can even set down. That's one issue with that. So if the Wraith knows what he's doing, I mean, if anyone doesn't know what they're doing, they're gonna die, obviously. But it, with Wraith, if you have like a little bit of intelligence, you can just dash and warp right out of there. You know, you congratulations, your triper just wasted their arena because you know Wraith is cool. But other than that, Wraith isn't OP. If you, the, I want, I really hope the meta picks up with Wraith that you just sit around and wait for it to get to level three. Because chances are you're gonna be running around the map like an idiot trying to find Wraith while the enemy gamer goes, "Oh, I'm Wraith, you can't catch me," and just runs around the map and leaves you guys everywhere and gets you killed. That's that's kind of how Wraith goes. But if you just sit at your relay and let him hit level 3, and he's got a time limit. The monster has 20 minutes. Unless they engage in combat before those 20 minutes are up, it's 20 minutes of match time. You're forcing the monster to engage you at a specific location, as opposed to the Wraith leading you on the map and engaging you and abducting you every now and then and, you know, just dashing out of your arena traps. He'll wear you down without an issue. And I feel like that's a problem, but yeah. Uh, if you engage Wraith, wait for him to go Supernova, which is the one where he turns ghosty and white and sparkly and shit. Engage, once he does that, throw down your arena trap because he cannot cancel or dash out of his Supernova. Once he does that, he is, in, he is committed to the fight for that moment of Supernova. And from there, you'll have him trapped. And then you can just open fire. Uh, it, Wraith is a bit hard to learn, like, figure out, but once you know what he does, honestly, you can beat him as long as your team is coherent. It's not a fact of, okay, Wraith just uses Supernova, everyone's dead. If you are out of position and you're in range of his Supernova, then chances are you're going to die, and you should have, you know, placed yourself a little bit better on the map, or obviously something went wrong. You could not move. If you couldn't dodge it, then, you know, try again next time, but chances are, if you engage Wraith in that position with... A relay, like at a relay, chances are you're gonna bring him down quite a bit, and that's kind of the way it has to go. Like, Wraith is, if it didn't have that many, that long of a dash and a warp, and it couldn't escape arena traps that easily, it'd be a lot more balanced. It wouldn't be an issue. The problem with Wraith is that it can just warp dash right out of your arena traps. Otherwise, it'd be balanced. It wouldn't be stupid because catching that thing can be a huge pain in the ass if it knows what it's doing. Like, trust me. I'm sure everyone has experienced before, like, you're the trapper, and it's like, oh, we're going to catch the Wraith. It's like, you can't catch him. He's just going to warp right out of here. You don't, you don't, mean, you don't mean shit. Ugh. But yeah, uh, other topics, other other rage aside, Wraith discussion over already. I'm not going on with that anymore. Uh, this game of, like, Evolve has been the only game within a couple, like, years to make my hands sweat. <laughs> I, I mean that interestingly, too, because my hands... I've played on the keyboard for a long time now, like maybe a couple of years, and not once has my hand, like, have my hands sweat so much all over my keyboard. I am a sweaty tryhard at Evolve, trust me. <laughs> like, my keyboard has just, like, stuff all over it right now. I had to clean it off because it's so disgusting, but I went hardcore on this game. And my hands have never sweat like they have sweat before in Evolve. That's sign of a good game. Because I've been sitting a little, I've been sitting around playing it for so long and I'm just getting so into it. 
when you play monster, it's so interesting because you're you're playing against other people that want to kill you, obviously, and you need to outthink them. And it's so much fun to just juke people and walk. Like they'll lead, I'll lead him down a tunnel and then just slowly curve around back to like back around the end of the tu uh, other side of the tunnel, and I'll just kind of like sneak behind them and hide back in the tunnel and watch them and sometimes trail them. It's so much fun, and it's hilarious. They have the uh, the match replay tracker at the end where they show everyone's dots and how everyone was moving and I just love watching my dot just hide in a corner hiding in plain sight within some like brush and just watch the dots go right by mine and it's just like yes so good <laughs> but I uh, uh, this game I can't wait for it the closed beta just ended today if you didn't know that so don't don't apply for the beta don't pre-order if you think you're gonna get into the beta because you're not beta's already done and I was going to get some footage for today, but closed beta was closed. Well, ended. Not closed, but yeah. And I am I was severely, severely disappointed. And I was kind of like, pardon me, I was kind of having a freak out where I'm like, I need, I need my fix for this game. I need my fix. It's so good. I need to play more. I was like ranked, uh, I think I was in the upper, like, upper tens. Not tens, but like as in like one to one to ninety nine. I was in that range of Goliath wins, so I was pretty high up on the Goliath leaderboard, and I was ranked sixty second last I looked in the Trapper leaderboard. So that's a lot of fun. I cannot cannot wait for the for the final game to come out. I, I just I want it so bad, <laughs> and you'll probably be seeing me playing it a bunch if you, if you encounter me. I had a few matches where people stuck with me when I was the monster. And it's matches like that where people, you get to see people like, you get to see them evolve. And it's interesting because their tactics will change as they catch on to what you're doing. And you need to continue to, you know, evolve your game too, obviously. And you need to keep your eye on them and they'll play certain characters a specific way. And you need to be able to sniff them out, literally and, you know, metaphorically. And you need to know what to do against them when they adapt to what you're doing. It's really interesting to watch. I really hope this game doesn't die as like really soon because it's it's so interesting. I just I really really can't wait for it. I also want to learn how to play Kraken because the first time I played Kraken, I got straight up demolished. Like this dude had my, he had me read like a book nonstop. This this assault was just on my case the entire time. Although I, that could have been because I was flying so much. I, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's a thing. I don't know. But yeah, Kraken, not so great for me, but, you know, whatever. Goliath, Goliath for life. I haven't played Wraith yet, because I'm on the same page as everyone else. Wraith is kind of stupid. I don't think it's OP, it's just stupid that I can dash at everything. Like, it's kind of dumb. It needs to be redone. It can't, it needs to have, like, a shorter dash range or a shorter warp range, because if it can just get out of arena traps, it's stupid. Stupid. Stupid Wraith. <laughs> but yeah, um... <laughs> Topic of other things, uh, the, I feel like the player, like the hunters, are a, a lot of fun to play. Although being trapper can sometimes be a little tense because you are the only person who can force that fight with the monster. If you miss your arena trap, it's down for a minute or so, and you cannot re you cannot force the monster to re-engage you. So if you miss your arena traps a lot, then you're going to be sort of like the hated person in your team because you you are the foundation of the team. Seriously, like you f you have to trap the monster to engage it. It, it otherwise it'll just continue to run from you and from there what are you gonna do just pick at it it's a bad idea don't don't shoot the monster when it's running away guys don't do that unless it has like no armor and you know you're gonna get a big chunk of health off of it don't don't shoot at it because that that increases that well that decreases the cooldown of his leaps and some of his ability like some of his abilities so he'll get more ability to run away from you guys as you shoot him and keep him in combat so just be aware of that small tip uh but I love, I love like every class except for medic. I hate playing medic and support. Uh, I hate okay. I hate half the class. I hate playing medic. I hate playing support. Like I, I like I enjoy playing bucket because bucket's annoying. Oh my god! But so is cabot. Cabot also another pain in the ass. Those two in particular are really, they're really, really, really annoying. But uh, I hate playing support. I hate playing medic. But I love playing assault and trapper. It's just so much fun, especially with Mar uh, Markov. I love. I love initiating pizza parties. Pizza parties for life, man. Like it's the it's the meta for me. I just throw arc mines everywhere in the fighting gauges, and I I'll use them to cover specific choke points, and force the monster to engage me. And once he does engage me, I shield up and just run through my mines, 
And I've had a few matches. I was playing with him with Rue before when he was medic, and I was the last man standing against the Goliath, and he had like a like one bar left of HP. And I forced him to engage me on a spire with a bunch of mines on it. He blew up, knocked me off, and there's still one mine on the spire. So he knocked me off of it. I shielded, and he went to climb back up so he could have, like, his high ground advantage or something like that on me. And he just blew up and died. Like, the pizza place, the pizza party is real. Markov is not Russian. He is an Italian baker man. He makes the pizzas. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I really hope the pizza party meta picks up. Because I, I see, like, I rarely see Markov's use the pizzas. The pizzas are the best thing ever. I also want to see like a skin for Markov. Please make this a thing. Please, I want to see Markov with like a chef hat and his minds are pizzas. It would be the best thing ever. I also want to see the monster, like Goliath, with like a, a Shaq jersey and he gets like basketball particles when he slam dunks people with Leap Smash. Because that's what I call, I call Leap, Sma Leap Smash the slam dunk. Because you just slam dunk people. It's so good. It's such a good gap closer. And you can just wreck everybody from there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, wants aside, I'm really waiting for this game to come out. I also have Dying Light in the queue. But I'm not as hyped for that as I am Evolve. Evolve is what I'm waiting for so bad. Uh, but yeah. I think that's it for me. I've gotten what I want out. <laughs> My Evolve hype is out for now. <laughs> okay, that's it. So, I'll be seeing you guys when Evolve comes out. Hopefully I can record videos of that game. Because I've been running it on maximum settings without little issue. Or with little issue. So that's, I hope I can record something at a good frame rate. Because I don't know if the... I don't know if Fraps will crash my game or not. But yeah, that's it for me. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time.